Is the Phoenix serial street shooter targeting minorities? That's the discussion at a community meeting tonight. Jason Valentine in Maryvale with more on how groups and police are working to generate more tips to catch the killer. As the serial street shooter's crime spree has grown, so has the reward for catching him. Up to $30,000 now for any tips leading to his arrest. And community groups getting in on the act, handing out hundreds of these flyers today, hoping to empower minority communities they say are being targeted. 30 grand to catch a killer. It's a big reward in the world of anonymous tipping. Silent Witness will always pay up to $1,000 for any felony crime that occurs. Silent Witness says anything past that is donation, coming from police departments offering up seized money or budget surplus funds, victims' family members, and local businesses. And collecting a reward is like a covert op. You call in and get a code name. We don't ask for ID. We simply tell them where they can go for their money, which is a bank. They go into that bank, they don't present ID. They tell the teller what their code name is and they walk out with cash. The tips almost always come from the community, and some have noticed the communities exclusively targeted by the serial street shooter are minorities. It's either Latino or it's African American. We're not saying that's what it's at, but it's worth talking about. Therefore, Lydia Hernandez says engaging minority communities is key to catching the killer. Uh, we, in Spanish, we call them comadres. We call them, it's the people, you know, the stay-at-home moms that conversate and it runs faster than wildfire. Those are the folks that we're, we're targeting today to have this conversation so that they know what they can do. For anybody who wants to join the conversation, tonight's event is bilingual with community leaders at the Maryvale Community Center starting at 6.30.